Hey fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Man Corps. I'm about ready to head out of town to go spend some time with my family. But before I left, I wanted to drop in a video around the topic of negotiation and becoming a good negotiator, how to get the terms and the circumstances that you want in your life how to strengthen the backbone and to really live by some principles. So we're going to cover all of those things today and um, some tips, some advice, some things that uh, have really worked for me in the past. So I hope this is of value to you. It ha certainly has been to me. If you are new here, the main core is a community for men that are digging to the core of who they are to find out what it is that they really want and who it is that they really want to become. Please subscribe and join the channel to help build better men for the future. So negotiation is something that we have to do in various areas of our life, whether that's in business, that's in relationships, buying a new car, uh, buying a house. Um, no matter where you go, people are either trying to sell you on something or you're trying to sell them on something. And it really comes down to just being a good negotiator, how to, you know, stand by terms that you want, how to find out how to carve a, a win-win deal, uh, how to work well with others by uh, stating what you want and you know, abiding by principles of your own while also you know, working with people whose goals and, and values and principles can align with yours in a way where, where you both can win. Um, you know, to be honest with you, the, probably the, the, the biggest place that we see it most or where it's most impactful or where we, we, we feel it most, I guess, is probably in, in our relationships, so our friendships and um, you know, our, our intimate relationships. So, you know, negotiation is, it's, it's, a, it's a test. It's, it really does test your, your, your fortitude, your testicular fortitude. So, if you have balls, uh, you know, it's probably something that you, you've negotiated, um, you're used to, or that you've evolved and, and you've developed over time, you've gotten better at it. If you are a weak person and you're really trying to work on yourself, if you don't abide by your, by your principles and your values, you're probably somebody who probably gets taken advantage of, maybe a little codependent, and that's okay. You know, we're all a work in progress, but, you know, it's important that especially as men, we, we state what our purpose is. We state what it is that we want. We go after what it is that we want and that we do it in a way that communicates not only to the, the, the people that we're interacting with or the friendships or relationships that we're interacting with, if it's the house that we want or the car, whatever the case may be, it's, it's stating what you want and being able to walk away if the terms are not to your liking. And it's, it's tough, but you have to be able to really essentially put your nuts on the chopping block and put it is and who you are out into the world and accept whatever comes back. Um, you know, people are going to reject your offer. They're going to reject your advances. They're not going to give you what you want. That's just part of life. It sucks, um, but that that right there is really what helps you become a better negotiator. And, and actually, the further that you deviate from your own principles to try to give and acquiesce to people to give them what they want, the more miserable you are going to be. And if you're watching this video uh, and you feel that way, that's it, it's probably because of the fact that you've gotten away from your own core values. So if you value honesty, if you val value fairness, if you value... Um, you know, the truth, if you value uh, communication, you know, it can be a variety of different things. But if you're suppressing those things to give other people what they want, to the extent that it doesn't give you what you want, you're, you're, you're probably experiencing some pretty negative emotions because of that. So, you know, just this week, I, uh, I actually had been pursuing a girl and she, she shot me down and that's okay. But you know, I, I, I stated what I wanted and that I wasn't interested in, in her friendship and now I'm walking away and you know, you, you have to be able to put your nuts on the chopping block and then state what you want and then walk away if it doesn't, you know, if there's, um, 
a car that you want and there's a price that you can meet, then you're gonna state that price and if the dealer can't meet you on it, then you have to be willing to walk away. It's part of being unattached. And that it's super tough, but that is, that is the thing. It's, it's gonna build your, it's gonna build your core, it's gonna build your backbone, and it's gonna allow you to both attract and, and detract the things that are really designed in your life. So although the things that we want may be painful when they don't work out our way, as we've talked about in previous videos, a lot of the times, you know, there's a reason for it and we just don't know what that reason is. But you have to be able to, you know, emotionally de detach yourself from what it is that you want. And when you do that and when you go about things in, in a balanced way that says, hey, this is the price that, that, that I'm willing to pay for this house or this car or, um, or this boat, whatever the case may be, or this is the kind of relationship that I'm after and that I, that I want. And if you can't meet me on that price, or if you're offering me terms like friendship terms and I'm interested in something else, then I'm walking away. And that's, that's what you need to do. Now, when you walk away, the key is, is that you can't like, you know, three days later or a week later or even a year later, turn around and then go back on your principles. You, it may seem like the quick fix and it may seem like, oh, this is just gonna get you what you want now. But you absolutely have no idea how weak that makes you look and how much more people and circumstances will take advantage of you if, if that's the way that you treat yourself. You have to really see yourself as, as being high value. Prioritize your own needs, your own wants, your own desires, and your own circumstances. You have to stand by those. Nobody else is going to do it for you. So if you're not looking out for yourself and stating what it is that you want, as hard as it may be to have to walk away without getting what you want, it's just, that's just how it is. I mean, you have to be able to walk away and, and you have to mean it. You can't just say, okay, yeah, $20,000, can't do it. And then three days later, I mean, unless you want a shitload of money um, or you had a big deal close, and that certainly could be the case, but, uh, you know, nine times out of 10, you know, that's not going to happen. I would say even more than that. If you say that $20,000 is not gonna get it done, okay, well, you have to mean that. $20,000 is not gonna get it done today, in an hour, in three days, in a week, in a fucking year, doesn't matter. You are walking away and you're never looking back. Same thing goes for the house. Same thing goes for the relationship. If, if, if the girl that you are pursuing or the girl that you want or the girl that you are desire is offering you friendship, then you got to fucking say no, absolutely not. Uh, you know, stated it, state what it is that you want clearly. No, I'm interested in more than that. I can't just be your buddy or your friend or, you know, your work buddy or your, you know, chat buddy. No, that, that's not, I'm not your emotional tampon. Um, I'm not your gay male girlfriend. I have value and I'm not going to let anybody diminish my wants, my desires. I'm not interested in friendship. I'm not interested in being your buddy. I'm not interested in being your chat buddy or your work buddy or your lunch buddy. Fuck that. No, I said what I wanted and I mean that. And the only way that that is going to change is if the other party acquiesces to what you want. So if the, if the car dealer then says, okay, yeah, we can meet you at 20,000. Okay, you can then reciprocate. Okay, now we have a deal. You stated what you want. You were able to walk away and mean it, and you, st you stood by those terms, and because, for whatever reason, the dealer decided he was gonna give you what you wanted. It's not always gonna go that way, but you're gonna get the terms that you originally bargained for, the ones that you originally wanted, the one that your principle, your purpose. That is what you are here to do. The same thing goes for the house. If you're not on the same wavelength or the same budget, you got to be willing to walk away. I don't care how nice the house is. I don't care where it's located. I really, that, that shouldn't matter. You have, you have to stay congruent. You can't vacillate. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want this. And oh, I guess I can do that. No, you have absolutely have to stay congruent with what it is that you want. 
and you can never change that. A lot of guys have a real problem with this and I, you know, I still battle with it. I'm better now, but I still battle with it a little bit because it's hard. You know, you get those things that start tugging on your heart a little bit. Uh, and in relationships, you know, if, if you say, no, I'm not interested in your friendship and then you walk away and then a week later you, you call her back and you say, yeah, that's okay. Let's just go. Uh, let's just be friends. You, th you're just going to look like a huge pussy. Like you cannot do that. You absolutely can't do that. And women do not respond to your softness. They respond to your strength. So when you're able to walk away and mean it and lose them forever, you're demonstrating your strength to resist them. And if you've ever done this, then you know what I'm talking about. But if you've never done it, I really strongly encourage you that if you have somebody in your life that's stringing you along or that you've expressed interest in and she's offering you friendship, you need to stay, stay what it is that you want and then you need to walk away and never contact her again for any reason. Now, if she eventually turns around and gives you what you want, okay, well then you're good to go. But don't go along with it because it's, you know, just because you're afraid to, of losing her or the house or the car. You, you can't go along with terms that do not match what your principles are. That is weak and it is a diminishing characteristic of being, uh, of being a man. You, you, have to stay, st you have to stand strong and you have to stand idle by the things that you want. If you vacillate back and forth on things, that doesn't make you look strong. That's going to make you look weak. Think about it in business. Think about it in relationships. Thinking about, think about it in any negotiation that you have. At times, even for me, it felt like it was a little selfish. Like I'm just like, geez, I'm, I get to call the shots. I didn't get everything that I wanted, but it, it, it's hard to get used to like, okay, well, this is what I want. And so I guess if you're not going to give that to me, then I'm going to go find someone else or somewhere else or another dealer or another realtor or another girl that, that is. And that's going to be living in an abundant place, not scarcity where it's like, I just got this one car, this one house or this one boat with one girl. That's going to make you look weak. You're going to, you're going to change your principles. You're going to go against your principles because of the, the pain that you're experiencing now. But if you've never done this, I encourage you to do it and I promise you that if you state what it is that you want in a calm manner, especially as it relates to, to the woman that's kind of stringing you along, keeping you in orbit, in the friend zone, you went along with it. So, you know, it might take you a little bit to get out of there, but, and you may never hear from her again. I mean, that's, that's the sad reality, but you know, you can't, it's just never going to work out. She's not going to suddenly wake up one day and be like, oh, it's, you know, you're the one, you know, it just doesn't fucking work. It's what we see in TVs and movies all the time. But uh, any time that we've ever tried to do that in real life, we ended up on our own and scratching our head, wondering why the she ran off with the other guy that basically did none of those things. And that's exactly right. So, you know, ignore the social conditioning that surrounds you and listen internally to the principles and what's at your core. If, if it feels like a conflict to you inside that like, God, I feel, you know, I, I want her and I'm suppressing my feelings, my desires. That's a conflict. If you feel that, that's so damaging to, to your self-esteem, your self-worth and your confidence. You don't understand. And the same thing goes for the car or the boat or the house, whatever it is. Now, on the flip side, whenever you state what it is that you want and you actually have the balls, the cojones to walk away after stating what you want and then, you know, people start to acquiesce or, or the deals start to fall your way, you're going to feel a lot better, way better, more confident, more congruent and more collected, more strengthened in your ability to not give in to the temptation. No matter how hot, how nice, how big, doesn't matter. You stood idle about it. You were strong enough to resist it. And you were willing to walk away and never hear from it again or never drive it again, never live in it again. You're good with it. You'd love to have it, but you're good without it. You stayed to what you wanted. And if the universe doesn't want to give it to you. There's a reason why. We just don't know what it is. So 
I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to know what you guys think. And if there are things that uh, you are needing help with or need advice on, you'd like me to cover in a future newsletter, uh, please send me an email at themancoreproject at gmail.com. Please like the video, share the video, and do share the channel with anybody that you think would be good contributors here at the Mancore. I have to run. It's time for me to head on out of town, but um, thank you very much for watching another video here at the Mancore. I will be with you guys again soon. Cheers.